now know what you guys do here. So I want you to make me happy. You know, I don't have a boyfriend right now. So I'm lonely. You are in the right place. Okay. So far you're ready and ready to do what it takes to enjoy that which you're craving for. I asked very well before coming. So Help me with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you all like the food. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so. Let me get you something to drink. Your baby's a good cook. I think one of the best with a good woman. She cooks, she cleans, and she doesn't give me what See, let me tell you something. I finally ended up. Well, I finally believe God has blessed me with the right woman. Yep. She cooks, she cleans, and she doesn't give me what Man. See, I think I finally endorsed this baby. Mm -hmm. Because of food. <laughs> Here you go. I hope you like it. You hmm. like it? We don't like it. <laughs> we love it. Mm, thank you. It's so good. <laughs> thank you. You made the Lord bless the hands that cook this food. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Anything for you, my love. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. You're not joining? Oh no, I ate. I ate before you guys came back. I couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs>
I hope I'm good. Okay. Hi. Hello. <laughs> you remember me? No. It's fine. I'm Linda, Rose's friend. Rose. Rose Daniels. Oh, Miss Madam Rose. Yes. Yeah. You know, I've always wanted to meet you, but I didn't want my friends to know about it. Well, why so? I mean, oh, I am a gym instructor and I render services to people who pay me for oh, the services. Right. That's all. There's okay. nothing to it. Now, that's good to know because I am interested in your services. Really? Yes. Well, how about I give you my card? Okay. Um, there you go. Mm. The address of my gym is there. My number is there. Okay. Call me and then we can get it rolling. Oh, sure, Eldam. See you. All right. Have a nice day. You too. Then. <laughs> Handsome. You're set to go, darling. <clears throat> yes. I, I've been wanting to ask you a question, really. <clears throat> what, darling? Um, you've been undergoing the gym exercises for a while now. Do you think there's any improvement so far? Sure. I don't feel heavy anymore. Really? <sighs> you better tell the gym instructor to intensify efforts. Because I really want you to go back to that same shape we used to love. Excuse me. Have a nice day. Bye.
Morning, madam. Good Since morning. You're not in your fitness clothes. Please sit down. I want to talk to you about something. Already? So. You see, in the last few weeks, all in the name of gym exercise and body massages, you and I have engaged in some unholy adventures. Yes, you're good at what you do. In your arms, I feel damn good. But as good as it is, I no longer want it. I'm tired of having my conscience prick me every day and night because I have broken my marital vows. Oh. Well, but um, we both enjoyed each other and we desired more of each other. Aside the point, I no longer want it. I want it stopped. Stopped? Come on. Okay, all right. Um, aside from the sex, what about your exercises? As it is right now, I care less about any exercise. So I presume you're firing me. Is that it? Yes. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm looking for a rough rider. Oh, rough rider's not around. Huh? So how long will you be staying out? I really can't tell for now. I really can't tell. <laughs> but I can wait for him, right? Obviously, sure you can. Come on, have a seat. Thank you. Hello. Good day, Rough Rider. Good day. Who's this? This is Linda. The lady you met the other day at the supermarket. You gave me your card. So I'm at your center right now. And I thought you went out. How long have you been staying here? Look, there are other guys at the gym who are as good as I am, okay? Let them attend to you. Mm mm. I don't want any of them. I want you. I was told you're good at what you do. Like I said, there are other guys at the gym who are equally good, okay? They will attend to you. Bye. Hello? Hello? What is wrong with this guy? The same woman who her husband got a gym for her in the house and had me to train her. I got to her house this morning in order to be fired. <laughs> but that's a good one, bro. Of course, that's a good one. You know I've always condemned your dating married women. Look, bro, I know your job allows you to meet different women on a daily basis. But dating married women, you know I condemn that. Listen. 
my father once told me, whenever you meet a door, lock with a padlock. Don't try unlocking it with your own key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. That's what you were saying. Why did I even tell you? Huh? All you're going to do is condemn me like I'm a little kid who doesn't know his left from his right. And what do you expect me to do? Give you a round of applause and tap you on the back? <laughs> Stop sleeping with married women. It is wrong. What is wrong is wrong and what is good is good. No. Sleeping with that woman in her husband's house was a time bomb that was waiting to explode. No. That woman sucking you was one of the best things that would ever happen to you. Yeah, enough, Stan. Look, I've had enough for one day, okay? I didn't call you to come and scold me, okay? Drink. Whatever, man. Look, give this guy one more drink so he can shut up. Keep it, I don't want. Well, I'm paying for it. I said I don't want. Wait, am I sleeping with your mom? You know, I, I have been married before. And I went through hell with that animal. That guy turned me into a punching bag. He brutalized me. But it's been over a year now, and I've been taking care of myself ever since. Needless to say that I've been in several relationships, hoping that I could get hooked up or something. But I'm sick and tired of all these guys who are happy with what they can only get from a woman. I'm really, really sorry about what you had to go through, okay? I really don't understand you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You know, Rough Rider mentioned that um, you guys around here are very good at what you do and that you could make a woman ask for more. Yeah, we're good at what we do. Um, we offer different kinds of services and giving you value for your money paid is our priority. Wow. Yes. Now that's interesting. I like that part. Um, if you don't mind, I could lay a place for you. Show you what I'm talking about. Hey, don't be too quick at that. Drop it, drop it, drop it. How about we make it a date at my house? What do you say? Oh, really? Uh-huh. Whatever you want. You like what you say? Yeah. You do? Sure. See you. Take my advice, Daniel. Adora is going to cost Big trouble for your family. Cause trouble? Yes. I, I don't understand. How? You are gradually getting used to her. And which is not good at all. Yes. <laughs> so what do you want me to do? No, tell me. You're truly my friend. So what do you have me do? Look, my wife is getting me so turned off. Honestly. With her size, I can't even have sex with her again. Jesus. Never. Adora is my kind of woman. And you know it. Okay? She has become a substitute for me. Giving me the kind of thing that I don't get from my wife. You are not serious. Danielle, you are not serious. Okay. Let me ask you. For how long do you think that you keep doing this? As long as my wife slims down and gets back to that shape that got me attracted to her in the first place. I understand how you're feeling. But let me tell you. Stop whatever thing that you're doing with Adora. Stop it now before it gets out of hand. Your advice is not taken. Right? Look, I want my happiness. I need help to get over the nightmare that I get sleeping with my wife every day on the same bed. Okay? That is what I grieve for with my whole heart. Any other thing is not taken. The only thing that I want to hear now is for my wife to slim down. Period. Oh. I really wish that Rose is here now, hearing all this rubbish they are saying about her. I wish she's here. <laughs> and I pray you don't get this from your woman, okay? Because it isn't good at all.
my god. Oh, it's Liz. I need to go. Ah, me. 